All right, guys, it is another beautiful day today, and I'm here in Elk Ridge, Maryland with my friend Adam from Zippers Performance, and right behind me is the Street Glide. Now, we're going to be talking about something that I wanted done on my bike when it was stock. I wanted it done, but I didn't need it. But now it's necessary. I have to have it, and I'm glad because I like it. If you want to know what I'm talking about, well, you probably already read the thumbnail. But anyway, we're going to roll the intro, and then we're going to get into that video. Okay guys, again I'm here in Elk Ridge, Maryland at Zippers Performance Product and I'm standing in front of the Street Glide. Got Adam with me again mm -hmm. and we're going to be talking about something that I wanted and that's something that I've been wanting for a long time is a chain. Right here, chain on the motorcycle. Now I got friends who have chains on their motorcycles who have absolutely no motor work done to it. They just think it looks cool and it does look cool but there's a point when you need a chain and Adam's gonna tell you what that point is. And I've also heard that chains can kind of rob power from you, so I'm gonna ask Adam what he thinks about that, by the way, too. So we're, we're gonna talk about chains. It's a brief discussion today, a really short video today. So, all right, Adam, explain what, what we got going on here. Okay, so we have installed, uh, it's mocked up, a, uh, a complete zippers Kush Drive chain kit. We produce a billet Cush hub, meaning you can keep your factory or an aftermarket wheel if it runs the factory Cush drive system. We have multiple different brackets for the, for the front and for the rear to change the ratio out. When do you need this? You need it when you get to this level of power. In theory, if you were racing your muscle uh, 124, you would have wanted to get rid of the belt and go to a chain. Right. Um, I remember we took our street glide with a muscle 124 and I was standing at the line and every time Dan would leave, I would say like, yes, good pass. And people were saying, wow, that bike's pretty quick. And I'm like, no, I'm just happy that the belt didn't spit out <laughs> on the line. Like exactly. we're just, we were okay if we did shed the belt because we were at the track, we had a trailer and it really was more of an experience to see if it, if it would handle it. Our factory system handled the traction of a drag strip 150 horsepower, 150 foot pounds, but the rider was mindful, and if he had done it repeatedly, the, the belt would not have lasted. And, and guys, where I see belts laying, uh, where I see belts come off the most is uh, usually at bike events, <laughs> at red lights, when people want to get on it really hard and they rev it up to dump the bike and you see the belt just come right off and they're going nowhere. So if you don't know this, for those who you don't know, maybe I should go back a little bit and let you know that Harley Davidson, most of their touring bikes all, since whenever, they've been running belts. Oh, since the 90s. Since the 90s, yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. this motorcycle right here, it came with the belt and I had absolutely no problems with belts and I've been launching the bike really, really hard, but it's always been in the back of my mind that I'm on the other side of the country on this motorcycle and I'm at a red light and I'm launching the bike hard. And just kind of like Adam said, I'm like, okay, I'm glad it didn't come off. Well, I didn't want that thought in the back of my mind. Now I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it's that initial shock that always gets it. Right. So with a belt or with a chain, you're not gonna have to worry about that. This kit, I wouldn't even ride. I mean, I think I've ridden ours on the street with a belt, right. but we were just mindful because it's not gonna last. And I've seen people actually teeth can come off on the belt yes. and the, yeah, that's that's bad too yeah. but enemy of the belt is traction mm -hmm. well big power and traction and being on the street with a regular street tire the bike will spin a little bit so that actually it's easier on the belt so the initial shock is not as bad but when you have the uh, track prepped and you have the tire a good tire on the back of it all of that power that initial shock can just snap a belt so that's why we go to chains. Now, is it a good idea to do put a chain on my stock 107? Personally, I wouldn't have it on my bike right. just because of the maintenance aspect. 
you know, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm big into maintenance, but I like it when you don't have to maintain something like yeah. that. It's a, it's a forget about it, you know, moment. So I like a belt, I'm happy they've gone belt. I wouldn't ask them to change it for the world, but if you wanted a different look, then it's fine. If you're riding it, you know, you don't have to have a lot of power to shock one of these. Right. Um, and if you're doing any level of stunt riding, you would need or it. you're going to need to change the gearing. So that's right. the other big advantage. The other big advantage yes. of this. Yeah. We can change the gear ratio on this and tailor it to what you're doing. So if you're if you're racing, if you're stunt riding, if you're street riding and you want more acceleration or you want more top end, um, we can change that around and and set the engine up how you want. Right. So so they technically for this motorcycle they tailored it for my the way I want to ride this motorcycle. So all they had to do is get a, a, a certain sprocket, which I don't know the exact sprocket here mm -hmm. combination that I have. But they did that to custom fit the way that I want to ride a motorcycle. And with the belt, you can't do that because you're just out of luck. With yeah, the belt. you're just stuck with it. Yeah. So So that's the advantages of having a chain. So the chain sounds great, but is there any downside to a chain? I think the biggest downside that you're gonna find is it takes a little bit more um, a little bit more maintenance. And what I mean by that is it's going to stretch a little bit more than the belt will when it's new. So you're gonna to have to do a couple of initial adjustments to keep it in line. Um, and that's what that is back there, right? Right, and we actually have included these um, adjusters. You know, the factory one is a neat little cam lock, but it's not finite enough to get, right. to get the wheel and the chain um, square to the motorcycle. So we have these, uh, we have a longer axle and then traditional axle adjusters to be able to set this. Right. Um, but you have to keep the chain clean and you have to wax it. It's really maintenance is the only issue in my opinion. I don't really see a huge loss between uh, a belt and a chain. I'm sure that someone's done a test where it's a little bit off. Personally, when we've checked it here, it's effectively the same. If you have your belt set up properly and if you have your chain set up properly, they're gonna work about the same. Okay. Well. I'm, again, guys, I've always wanted one. Now I have one and I need one. So uh, yeah, it's perfect. And this chain right here, this whole this whole assembly right here, mm -hmm. the sprocket set you can get from zippersperformance.com. If you're not sure what sprocket set you need, give them a call, talk to them, have a conversation, tell them how you ride, what you plan on doing with the motorcycle, and they can lead you in the right path, okay? Before you go, before you go, you have to, have to check out the video all this stuff that we're talking about, there's other videos because it's a build that's been going on. I put the finished result out first. So make sure that you watch that video where you can see what this bike right here with the stage four kit and with the chain makes. We're gonna get the bike done and then we're gonna do a Donald run and I'll be sharing the numbers with you on that video. So make sure that you watch it. But guys, again, thank you for watching. Make sure you go to zippersperformance.com and as always, keep gliding and have a blessed day.